Hello and welcome to the Conversation Cafe. My name is Beth Turner and I am a communication coach for young people and this is where I come to share top tips and techniques with young people just like you so that you can feel really confident communicating in all sorts of everyday situations. Now this video is all about how to start a conversation with a friend that you don't know very well. You meet someone for the first time, you want to say hello, you want to start a friendship, but you don't quite know how to open that conversation. So I'm going to share with you a technique that has proven to work with lots and lots of young people. Now everybody wants to make friends and everybody feels nervous about it. And what I want you to do is know that it's totally normal normal to feel nervous but no one ever tells us how to start these conversations without feeling shy and without stopping us from being bold to be the one that says hello for the first time. Now I'm going to teach you a technique that comes in three parts and what it will do is it will give you the confidence to introduce yourself to someone you don't know without it being a really scary experience. Now the three-stepped approach is ever so simple to use. The first thing we're going to do is you're going to introduce yourself using your name. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to ask the person what their name is. And then the third thing that you're going to do is you're going to use their name in a question in the very next sentence that you speak. And there's a secret behind doing that because the sweetest sound to someone is the sound of their own name. When somebody says your name, you feel like you matter to them. You feel like you are important to them and that they've remembered you. And that's exactly the approach that we're going to use in this technique and introducing yourself to someone. So really simple. You tell them what your name is, you ask them what their name is, and then you use their name and you speak it out loud in the very next sentence. Now, let me explain how and why this works. When you introduce yourself and you give that person your name, then a couple of things are happening. It's really easy for you to remember your own name. And even through the nerves and under the pressure of being in that situation, you will be unlikely to get that wrong, I hope. And also what you're doing is you're gifting, you are giving something to the person that you're speaking to first. The second part, when you ask them what their name is, a few things are happening. They are going to give you their name and be willing to give you their name in exchange because you've already told them what your name is. They will respond by telling you what their name is. And what happens therefore is you can be sure that they want to be in this conversation with you because they're taking part. The trick here is to listen really carefully because when they tell you what their name is, you want to be able to remember it. And then the third part where you repeat their name back to them in the very next sentence is all about your brain will find it so much easier to remember their name when you say it out loud. That's why we're going to repeat it out loud straight away. And the benefit of using it in a question is that that's how the conversation starts because now they'll reply to your question and you can start having an interaction. So let me show you how it works. If I was in the playground standing next to another mum from my daughter's class and I felt that I ought to introduce myself or I just wanted to get to know her a little bit, I would say something. Like I'd just turn and I'd look at her. I'd make eye contact and I'd say to her, hi, my name's Beth. What's yours? Now, I would encourage you to say your name really clearly because we know our own name. I know my name's Beth. It's been Beth for many, many years. But the risk is that I say it so quickly, she mishears it. And I know that lots of people, when I have not said my name clearly in the past, I've been called all sorts of things. Ruth. In fact, I spent a whole week skiing being called Barbara because I didn't say my name clearly enough to the ski instructor. He thought I said Barbara instead of Beth. I was too embarrassed to correct him and spent the whole week with the rest of our ski school calling me Barbara. I don't want that for you. So I would encourage you when you say to someone your name, say it lovely and clearly. So I would say to her, hi, my name's Beth. What's yours? She would reply and say, oh, I'm Claire. 
and I would listen really carefully to catch her name. And then straight away, I would say, Claire, have you any idea why the class aren't out yet? I would ask her any question because what I want to do is start a conversation going. Similarly, with my son, um, we went camping in the summer and there was lots of families on the campsite with us. And my son spotted a boy his own age from another family that he didn't know. And I watched him go over and say to this young lad, hi, my name's Ethan, what's yours? And the boy said to him, oh, my name's Daniel. And he said, Daniel, do you wanna come and play football? And that's all it took to break the ice. And they spent the rest of the camping weekend um, getting to know each other, playing football and enjoying themselves. And likewise, my daughter has just started a new school. And I know that one of the techniques she will have used on her first day, she'll be lining up, ready to go into her new class, standing next to someone she doesn't know. And she knows to say, hi, my name's Brooke, what's your name? And when the child re responds and says, oh, I'm Lily, she'll say, oh, hi, Lily, which school did you used to go to? And it just starts a conversation going. So there's a few things when you say your name, say it really clearly so that they don't mishear it. You ask them what their name is straight away and then listen really well to catch their name. And then you repeat their name out loud in a question as the very next sentence. There is nothing more important to somebody to know that you feel that you want to remember who they are. So there's lots of examples that you can use this technique in. And in fact, you're going to be in situations throughout your entire life where making new friends will be important and necessary. And I don't want you to feel worried and nervous about doing so. So this technique is really easy to use. All I would encourage you to do is practice. So practice saying this at home with your parents, introduce yourself to your own brothers and sisters like they've never met you before. And if there's nobody at home that you can practice this with or you want to get ahead of the game, practice watching yourself say this in the mirror. See what you look like when you introduce yourself. Are you smiling? Do you look approachable? Um, practice, 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 so that when you are in that situation and want to use this technique for real, it will come so naturally. Okay, so that's everything I wanted to share with you in this video. If you have found it useful, then please let somebody else know that it exists and like and subscribe below. And if not, let me know why in the comments below and let me see what I can do to help you. So thanks for joining me in the Conversation Cafe today. I'll see you back here soon.